up you guys welcome to the channel today we have another McFarlane toys from the Disney Mirrorverse line of Buzz Lightyear now like I stated in my last video where I did um, Maleficent and Captain Hook I have not played the game so I don't really know much about the game but I'm a big fan of Disney and I'm a big fan of the characters so to have a seven inch line of Disney characters is pretty awesome so I wanted to dive into the line buy up all the seven inch figures that they have which I did I am currently reviewing them all on the channel so far we have done Jack Sparrow we've done Captain Hook and uh, Maleficent and now we're doing Buzz Lightyear to, uh, still to come we have the Genie and then we have the Jack Sparrow Fracture Gold Edition so keep an eye out for those on the channel I'm going to be getting them out within the next week or two trying for this week but we'll see because I have a lot to review I have the McFarlane Avatar Way of Water line I got some Marvel Legends some uh, NECA figures and some McFarlane DC Multiverse so we have a full plate ahead on this channel without further ado let's look at the packaging uh, we have the classic window box packaging uh, we have Buzz Lightyear on the side we have this is the Jack Sparrow that we are going to do the fracture to get I don't know what that means if you play the game you can explain to me down below what fracture means again we have Buzz Lightyear again here's the window box packaging so let's um, get this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look here we have Buzz Lightyear out of the packaging I gotta say he is a chunky figure which is awesome uh, he feels really cool uh, I mean you can see just how thick this guy is. This actually came attached, I had to put it back on. Um, I, not back on, I had to put it on. And then I have the wings, which I don't know if they're upside down or not, but they did fit. To me, it made sense for them to go out like that. Uh, I'd have to watch other reviews, they might be upside down, let me see. Let's see if they come out pretty easy. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, it wouldn't make sense for it to go that way, right? So we'll go with this, because this is the way it kind of fit in and it kind of connected in, but a part of me feels like the shape kind of looks like it's upside down, but that could be just me. Um, Detail-wise, I mean, that's Buzz. And out of all the figures, this is the one that I feel looks the most like the character from the movie. Like, I feel like this is Buzz Lightyear that Andy got. Uh, I wish I wish it said Andy on the feet, but it doesn't. Uh, again, it comes with their stand, and it comes with the trading card. I actually didn't show the trading card for the last, <laughs> for the last uh, review, which I apologize for. I don't keep these guys. These kind of get tossed, so I don't have them. But uh, if you guys really want to read, you know, here you go. But here's the trading card. It's cool. I don't know. Maybe, is it, maybe it's a card game. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's like a mobile game or something. But again, I mean, this looks like Buzz. Uh, this makes me feel like Andy right now getting his Buzz for his birthday or Christmas. Um, it's really, really cool. Really cool figure. I wanted to, I wanted to open this figure up really bad since I got it. Uh, again, it does fit on the stand pretty well. Um, so he will stand, which is kind of cool. I actually thought he was going to be very top heavy, uh, but he's not. Uh, well, he's top, he's heavy at the top, but he stands. Uh, the stand does do the job. It is really cool. Uh, like I said, the detailing of this, it looks like the figure. Um, and I, I, one of the things, I don't go over articulation too much, but just like generic, he does have, I think the box says he's got, what, 22 points of articulation. That's what the normal standard is. Does it say anywhere in the box? It does not. But one of the things I think is cool with these McFarlane's, they always come with tail articulation, which I think is really cool. So you can actually get some, you can probably actually get some dynamic poses. But as far as, like I said, we can go through detail again. If you can see Lightyear, um, like I said, it looks like the movie. I think out of all the figures, that you know, the belt buckle, out of all the figures, this looks the most like the movie. Uh, as you can see, this is where they kind of peg in. So it's not a complete flush match. I'd have to really go in, like flush over here. I have to go in and kind of muscle this guy in here. Um, out there, yeah, no, I have the muscle too bad. But that's, that sits on the character. Uh, it did take a little bit of effort to put it in, but all in all, it means it's sturdy in there now that it's in there. Uh, he, like I said, he'll peg right into the stand, and he does sit well. Uh, I gotta be honest, he, he doesn't he doesn't topple over like I would fear that I feared he was gonna do. Uh, let's get the other McFarlane uh, uh, Mirrorverse figures just to get a size comparison next to our Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear. Here is Buzz next to Maleficent and Hook, and I think these look so cool together. Like this is actually a line that I hope succeeds in the seven inch. And I want to build this collection. I want to get more and more Disney characters in my collection. That's something I don't have a whole lot of as far as uh, figure-wise. These are pretty much my 
Uh, this is pretty much me diving into Disney characters uh, because it's finally within a scale that I collect in, which is I collect between like six, seven, and eight inch figures. Um, so this is this is perfect, and I think they look phenomenal together. So I do recommend this line. Uh, for those who are Disney fans, this is a line I highly recommend. Uh, these are really great figures. Keep it on the channel. We review the the last two remaining figures in the set, which is the genie and the fractured Jack Sparrow. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.